Every picture tells a story. Now, this picture is from 1925, 1926. It's a group of first and second graders in Vienna. 37 children, one teacher, and the Historical Society only knows two people in the picture. Louis Lathrop, who is the uh, father of the kid who donated the, the father of the person who donated the picture is right there, and Helen Mackey Klinger, who's in the front row here. They'd like to find a name to match with each of these faces. A good snapshot can tell a story. Vienna history includes pictures like the 1927 basketball team wearing checkerboard uniforms. This picture from 1925, that's Ithel Matthews in the back. His name was chosen for the new school when Vienna and Fowler consolidated in 1961. But the Historical Society would like to identify the children in this picture. Just so we can identify students in the photos. And, you know, years later, maybe a grandchild or a great-grandchild would want to know, you know, if their family member was in this photo. These students were in the graduating classes of 1936 and 37. The first years, there was also a yearbook. But there are gaps. The Historical Society asks for help regularly and gets a lot of responses about photos from the 1940s and 50s. A lot of people are still around or it's more easy to recognize their ancestors. It's these older ones it's harder to find. Vienna had 13 people in the 1934 graduating class. The band picture from 1943 shows the school had grown. Binders holding the pictures also have commencement programs. It's exciting, especially when you talk to a family member that says that they've never seen a picture of their, you know, mom or great grandma that was, you know, this young and we were able to provide that information. The idea is to acquire information. Vienna Township is over 300 years old and right now this picture is what it would like to learn more about. We really appreciate when people donate photos like this because it really helps preserve our history. And if you might know of a connection to the photo, you can get in touch with the Vienna Historical Society. I put their email address inside this story at WKBN.com.